Hello, in this video we're gonna check all available gestures and motions on uh, Motorola H50 Ultra. To do this, first we'll need to open our settings, inside navigate to the gestures section. Then first option is navigation mode, here you can choose how to navigate your device, either by three buttons or gestures. We explained that uh, further in our video on how to change navigation mode on that device. So I'm just gonna pick three buttons and go back. Then there's the sidebar. When activated, you get that bar on the right side of your phone. Uh, you can drag it out and it should reveal toolbar with uh, different app icons. You can add and remove uh, those icons by clicking on the gear icon right here. Click on minus to remove it and then drag any other apps like Adobe Atmos uh, right here. Then next one is one-handed mode. When activated right here below, you'll get the accessibility button. When you click on it, it will lower the notification bar so you can access it when using this phone in one hand. Then the next one is uh, swipe to split. When activated, you can perform something like it shows on the screen. Sometimes I just can't access it. I think right here we have the same problem. Uh, but uh, what it should do is uh, split your screen so you can open one app on the top and the second app on the bottom. Oh, it worked. Okay, so it works like this. Let's go back and find a three finger screenshot and hold three fingers onto the screen to capture a screenshot. Then there's a double press power button to launch camera. Press and hold power button to access a digital assistant or only power mini. Don't worry when you select a digital assistant you can still access power mini but for that you will need to press volume up button and the power button at the same time. You can also adjust the press and hold duration for that digital assistant. It works like this and here's Google Assistant and if you want the power mini you need to press on those two buttons. Now let's go back and find press and hold power button. We did it already. Uh, media controls. So you can control multimedia like uh, YouTube Music, Spotify uh, with uh, volume buttons. And uh, let's learn more because I actually forgot. We can press, hold and press volume up key to skip to the next track. Hold the down uh, volume down button to uh, skip uh, to go to the previous track and then finally to adjust the volume you will need to tap on the volume keys instead of holding them okay and the next one is quick launch when activated you'll be able to back tap right here onto your phone to access one of the functions and to actually customize those functions you need to click on the gear icon in the bottom left corner you can also adjust the tap strength and then assign the action. In this case, we're gonna go with take a screenshot. Let's try it out. It works fine. Then we have a fast flashlight. When activated, pick up your phone and perform something like a handshake with it to activate or deactivate the flashlight. Then there's lift to unlock. When activated, you will need to perform the setup for face unlock. After that, you'll be able to wake up to make your screen wake up when you look at the screen. Then there's the pick up to silence. When activated and you receive a call, you can pick up your phone in hand and it should silence that call. Flip for D&D. When activated, you can flip your phone upside down screen to the table and it should mute all of the calls basically enter do not disturb mode. And that is all of the gestures and motions available for that device. And that's it for this video, hope you like it, please consider subscribing to our channel, leave a like and a comment below.